motherfucker. I just knocked most of the food in the car along with the keys. How's your Thanksgiving? Now, as a British man, it's at this sort of time every year I become only vaguely aware of something happening called Thanksgiving. But it seems to be an occasion on which huge amounts of rich food are eaten and huge amounts of alcohol consumed. They're both things that I, Matt Rose, enjoy. To make myself less envious, I thought I'd amuse myself with some stories of your Thanksgiving. Hiatus ex hiatus. So I searched Reddit for threads like these, asked you guys for some choice anecdotes on the community page, and searched Twitter for the sarky phrase, How's your Thanksgiving? My brother just ran through the house into the kitchen with a flaming towel going, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. <laughs> One of the dogs just took a shit in the oven. Found grandma's wedding ring in the turkey one year. She didn't even know- How the fuck the dog took a shit in the oven? Were you trying to cook the dog? Found my grandma's wedding ring in the turkey one year. She did not even know. She didn't even know it was not on her finger. What? Not on her finger. My cabinet fell off the wall. Damn, you had the cabinet fall down? Oh my goodness. Today, that vegetarian stuffing was the best I ever had. The vegetarian stuffing is still in the oven. My uncle leaned too far back in his chair, fell onto a printer, broke it, and almost choked on a green bean in the span of about 12 seconds. Oh my goodness. Seconds. My mum is being shown tentacle porn at the table. <laughs> Yo, you can, I can imagine somebody walking up to their mom and be like, yo, so I seen some shit. I seen some shit. It's called Rants. There's this one scene with the pink haired girl. They were out in the in the fields. Come on, you're going to have to check this shit out. You're going to have to check this shit out. Nah, bro, but I can't lie, though. He, um, Rants got one of the best hentai animations. Well, for me personally, but then somebody in the chat gonna be like, oh, you thought Rant Hentai was good. I got something for you. And then you guys gonna give me some shit out of fucking, I don't know, man, Thailand or something. Grammy made a fruit salad. My cousin gave some wonderful fruit salad to her new baby. Fruit was soaked in booze. Left my kitchen with turkey cooling for a minute for a piss. Came back to find my dog humping the turkey. My mum has been secretly filming our entire family for a family feud audition video. My aunt hit my grandma in the face with a Bible from across a room. I came in high as balls once at a Thanksgiving party and ranted about how Klondike bars should be banned from Iraq for some fucking reason. My mum found out about the ass tat. A couple of years ago, my brother-in-law set the oven on fire. The kicker, the turkey was still undercooked. I wow. found the ceiling and my little sister told me I'm fat. My dog ate the whole entire turkey and my grandma farted on a stool, causing it to break. <laughs> my dad once accidentally used baby powder instead of cornstarch in the gravy. Nah! Yo, he, he got to get kicked out the house. Baby powder? He used baby powder instead of cornstarch? How the fuck... So wait, so how the fuck was that gravy? What was the consistency of that gravy if it wasn't cornstarch and it was baby powder? But I'm thinking about it now. Shit, imagine Thanksgiving. Imagine going to a Thanksgiving dinner high. Oh my God, that must have been like the best day ever. You must have ate out your ass and just fell straight to sleep. My many cousins was having a nap and nobody realized she wasn't at the meal until she woke up and asked when the meal was. So I just had to FaceTime my stepfather to ask him to bring me toilet paper. My cousin offered me candy, so I put it in my mouth and she told me it was inedible. That one time my- Yo, I hate when people do that too. Here's my thing. If you're going to give me an edible, tell me it's a fucking edible. I hate when people- Because cause, cause that's how people start to panic, right? Because when you start feeling weird, then- Bro- Anybody in the chat, don't be that asshole that just gives somebody an edible without telling them it's an edible because you a dickhead if you do that shit. Please, let people know. You eating a goddamn lollipop and then you tripping balls. Uncle fell asleep watching the football game and got a massive erection while completely asleep. Stuffed myself with as much turkey stuff. Wait a minute, why are you looking at his dick? That DJ girl. Why are you looking at his dick? Should have you should have put a blanket over his shit. You should have been like, ah, that's a like like that DJ girl. You a little sus. You 
little sus. Why you so, why are you staring at his dick? Unless that man's erection was gigantic and it was like a giant Christmas tree from his pants, but come on. Watching the football game and got a massive erection while completely asleep. Stuffed myself with as much turkey stuffing and sweet potato casserole as I could one Thanksgiving. Ended up puking so hard I blacked out on the bathroom floor. I woke up 15 minutes later and my sister and two of my brothers were standing in the door just watching me. Fine, whatever, wear the damn Pokemon t-shirt. Relative took the time to drive in a blizzard to the house we were having dinner and tell us to fuck ourselves he was going to McDonald's. It'd be like that. <clears throat> Bro, I ain't even gonna hold y'all, man. Have you guys, has anybody in, in the chat ever gone to somebody's house expecting to get like a lot of cool food? Like like Thanksgiving, I guess, would be the perfect example. You ever been in a situation where you would head to somebody's house for Thanksgiving and you think there's gonna be a lot of food? Then when you get there, it's not a lot of food. It's like a lot of, it's like half-ass shit. Like there's no turkey, there's no ziti, there's no mashed potatoes. It's bullshit like fucking... Like, like shit that you would eat every day, like probably rice and then like some pieces of chicken. You said not really. I feel like I've had one situation like that, but it wasn't necessarily Thanksgiving. It was like around Christmas. Cause I know in Christmas, in Christmas, my mom sometimes goes a little ham. She likes to have like a Christmas dinner. So my mom would be like, you know what? Let me cook some chicken and like some of everything, like some crazy Mac and cheese chicken. If she's feeling to make Turkey, she makes Turkey, um, rice, beans, What's the name? Um, sweet potatoes. Like, all that shit. You guys said no? I ate Chinese food one Christmas. Oh, shit. You say our house is the exact opposite? I always expect disappointment, so I'll never be surprised if, if it ever does happen. You said my family never half-asses the food. You can't! I did, and we ended up going to the mall and get some KFC. This was like 10 years Damn. ago. Damn! Imagine going to somebody's house and being like, yo, this food is ass. I'm about to Uber. <laughs> Imagine Uber eating, like ordering Uber Eats on Thanksgiving at the person's house. I'd be like, yo, I'm just going to order some McDonald's. Motherfuckers is eating at the table and all you hear in your front door is Uber Eats. You'd be like, hey, man, thanks. Thanks for the McNuggets, the nuggies. One time I was asked to recite the Lord's Prayer in front of my entire family before we ate and I got nervous and said, Howard be thy name. Bro, it's not that hard to pray, to pray at a, like to pray at dinners. It's not that hard. Like I could do one right now with the, with the chat. It's so quick, bro. How do you fumble a prayer, dude? You don't even have to recite it the same way. Look. Right there, boom. All right, chat, close your eyes and hold your hands. Hold your hands. Dear God, thank you for having each and every one of us here today, Lord. We got Lavender SP on Paper Mario Boy, Toon, um, Elu Sonic Man, Kami Koopa, uh, Kuro, Gran Gonzalo, and more in the chat. Lord, let us enjoy this food. Let this food go into my stomach. Fill me with nourishment, Lord. Lord, anybody who doesn't have the privilege to get the food that I'm getting right now, Lord, please guide them in the path of righteousness. Keep them safe. Keep them warm in these times of pure cold, pure Antarctica. Lord Jesus, thank you once again for giving me the, the spirit, the strength, and the mentality to keep on pushing forward in your righteous path. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? Amen! It's not that hard, man. It's like, I always think, I'm like, how do you fuck up a prayer? <laughs> how do you mess that up? Shit in the turkey if we didn't let her watch Jeopardy. It's 4.49 a.m. and I'm on duty. I just had to erase a giant penis someone crafted in the volleyball court. What? Oh. Okay. I am and I'm on duty. I just had to erase Tula said you, you're you atheist. All right. Anybody in the chat who's an atheist, if I catch you once saying, oh my God, it's going to be straight up. Like, it's, it's just that. I, yo, I better not hear it once. 
I don't want to hear a single a single time you saying oh my god <laughs> cuz I'm gonna come at you. I'm gonna I'm gonna lunge at you. Yet yeah, what do atheists say though then in that situation? Oh my Oh my Oh my goodness. It's like what do you say? Oh my gosh. Okay, buddy. Oh my science. <laughs> oh my big bang theory. Fuck. What do you say? Wait. Oh my god. Can I say, oh my daddy Kappa. Oh my dada. Okay. A giant penis someone crafted in the volleyball court. Every Thanksgiving, my great aunt gets messy drunk off red wine and cries about something new. Last year, it was forensic science. My uncle pulled out a World War II bayonet and started swinging it all over the place. Nah, Long put that motherfucker short, down. It ended up stuck in the ceiling, where it stayed for about three months. I just had to fight a swarm of bees. At six or seven years old, I, when left alone in the kitchen for all of five minutes, sorted every ounce of the cranberries. When confronted, I had no reason as to why I did it. We ate a shit ton of ants in a taco casserole and my what a shit ton of ants in a taco casserole and the uncle tried to convince us it was seasoning hell no are you wait a minute are you sure they were ants because i mean what if it was pepper like you know pepper nah I, I, I can't believe this guy. I gotta see pictures. Uncle tried to convince us it was seasoning. Dude got knocked the fuck out by a balloon. Oh, no! My dad had an allergic reaction to shrimp cocktail before dinner and his face blew up. He refused to come out of the kitchen or sit at the table with us. He was just eating his food in the kitchen and trying to act like things were normal, like yelling out, hey, good mashed potatoes this year, huh? The foster kittens got the vent cover off and crawled into the ventilation system. I think I was five years old or something, but my uncle came over for Thanksgiving and I was standing on the couch. When he walked over to me, I balled my fist up and punched him square in the nuts for literally no... I don't know why, yo, this is such a little boy thing. Like, boys, little boys be doing bullshit like this. That's why, bro, if I'm around anybody else's kid and it's a little boy, I'll be telling the parents, I'll be like, hey, if he does some shit to me, he gonna get kicked. He gonna get kicked. <laughs> reason my boyfriend just drank a cup of water that had my contacts in it my mum broke her nose trying to snap a large wooden dowel over her knee hey i i think you should get damn you got chlamydia for thanksgiving shit tested because i think i might have given you chlamydia my father thought my mum lied to him about me and my sister not having seen the Wizard of Oz. So he threw the uncooked turkey out the back door. Grandma slapped my ass before dinner. I got in late for a Thanksgiving meeting and as I was hungry, I ate all the cupcakes. Turned out there was one for each person and I ate all of them. Today has consisted of using suction and tweezers to remove peas from my son's nose on two different occasions. Some years ago at the dinner table, my grandma once said, Oh, I love butter so much I could just rub it all over my body. My sister had her first bite of the turkey she chopped on it it zoomed out her mouth right onto the center of the turkey just tossed my brussels sprouts with red wine instead of oil my dog came barreling up the driveway with someone else's cooked turkey walked in on my cousin having sex skull emoji my uncle got a bit too rough during a game of thanksgiving day football and knocked out my great uncle's tooth halfway through eating my cousin's boyfriend proposed to her in front of 40 plus family and extended family members she said no i just had to explain to my family what bukaki was because of cards against humanity my mum dog Dominated the conversation about how everyone should be drinking their pee. Nah. <clears throat> she must have saw like two Bear Grill YouTube videos. Wasn't there like a lady like that in, in the in the what's his name? In that one there was a lady like that in the YouTube video where she was like, hey, um, I'm sick, so I'm gonna drink my own piss. And then she thought it was healing her, but it wasn't. Yo, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Johnny! Thank you, man. I appreciate it. She said, and she bathed in her piss. For a solid 45 minutes. Showed off my snow outfit and I got called a Michelin man. My aunt was sitting at one end of the table. Her brother, my uncle, was sitting at the other end. She asks him for a dinner roll. He throws it, overshoots, and knocks out a window. Turns out the rolls were a bit hardened. My mother just criticized me for the way I come downstairs. My fairly overweight sister yelled, please, 
Pass the butter! Like a Spartan soldier running into battle. She has never lived it down and it caused a huge fight in which my other sister and brother-in-law packed up right away and left town. My mum also ended up threatening another sister with a rolling pin. Uh, there is a truckload of missing information somewhere. Go on, eat some more. You've barely had anything, were words from my uncle. I could respond only with... Bree as I threw up on his hand. My girlfriend's family is making me wear this as a Thanksgiving initiation. Hey. Looks like you guys had a fun Thanksgiving. My dad broke my grandparents' toilet with the power of his bowels. I had to pull out the turkey wiener, and now I'm cool, the tinkle tickler. My younger sister just referred to her middle sister's hands and nails as her baby graspers and bigger girl talons. A Tupperware container caught on fire in the dishwasher. My family and I just walked into the wrong house. How does that make sense? Tupperware caught on fire in the dishwasher. How does that happen? How does that even happen? Divorce! We were visiting family in Nevada where prostitution is legal. After dinner, I overheard my older boy cousins, all 18 plus, talking about going to a cat house. I chimed in that I wanted to go. They said no. I said, but I want to. They said no. It wasn't a place for kids. I was pissed. You don't even like cats and I love Damn. All the more reason why you shouldn't have gone. Motherfucker said, you don't even like cats. I love cats. I want to go. My little cousin loved to eat copious amounts of dinner rolls. And when my aunt said he couldn't have any more, he shit himself in anger. He was 12. I just got nutted on by my lizard. My aunt put powdered mustard instead of nutmeg into the pumpkin pie. It turned green and tasted like feet. Last year, my grandma started talking about this book that she was reading for a book club called The Hand I Fan With which is an erotic novel and describing it in detail at the dinner table. A bottle of champagne just exploded and the cork throat punched me and now I'm icing it with frozen tilapia. My aunt and cousin shit themselves trying to fart during Thanksgiving dinner. They did it at exactly the same time. While everyone went round the table saying what they were thankful for, my grandpa goes, I'm thankful for the way I felt before I realised my granddaughter had a nose ring. We end with this. I was around five or six years old. Us kids were playing hide and seek and I hid way in the back of grandma's closet. While I was hiding back there, I found this beautiful deep red robe. Oh, I assumed it belonged to my grandfather, who died just after I was born. I tried it on and it was huge on me, but the silk felt really smooth and cool, so I decided to ask my grandma if I could have it to grow into. Turns out, Grandad was a grand dragon in the Carolina KKK, and it was this ceremonial robe. The family members who didn't know about this already were highly upset. The ones who knew were embarrassed as hell. There was a small riot when I walked into the kitchen wearing it. That was an awkward Thanksgiving. Oh. Oh my, wait, so he went in there with what, with like the cone head or some shit? So he had, so isn't that ceremonial robe, isn't that like the, isn't it like the white KKK shit, but it's red, right? And he was the grand, the grand dragon or whatever the fuck it was called? He was the leader? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. You end up finding out your whole family has a historical bloodline of just being straight up racists. Damn, bro. Damn. The only way that you could reclaim yourself or somewhat reclaim yourself in that situation. How do you even reclaim yourself in that situation? In about a month's time. To he was a gym leader. 100%. An incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising. Oh, no. How long is this? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games. This is 19 minutes. This, this is 7 minutes. You sent me a 19-minute video.